makes us tonight, look like a bad Norfolk people. neighborhood is on edge. We're, we're bad people the way we like if if I if I wasn't a sun person and I had my same mind and I wasn't a pasty liberal, I just had the same mind I have, but I was a glider. I would look at some people like devils. Tonight, a Norfolk neighborhood is on edge after a homeowner was shot at while confronting a group of people who threw trash in his yard. Norfolk who do you think threw trash in this guy's yard? Anybody? Maybe some people. It's the shooting part that makes me think, son. You mean it wasn't a burning cross? Let's see. Police say they responded to a gunshot call around 6 p.m. on Sunday. Ten on your side's Michelle Wolf joins us tonight from the Wavy Newsroom after speaking to the man and his neighborhood civically. Michelle? Lena and Tom, the man who did not want his name or face on camera, tells us he noticed a silver sedan parked in front of his neighbor's house. He didn't recognize the vehicle or the four people inside. When they threw trash on his property, he went out to investigate. That's when they shot at him four times. That's a thousand percent, son. In ring video shared with 10 on your side from a Camellia Acres homeowner. <laughs> a series of gunshots on Deerfield Road. The homeowner running as the suspects drive away. Luckily, he wasn't hit but says a stray bullet went through the windshield of his neighbor's Toyota Prius. We spoke with those neighbors who also didn't want to speak on camera as the suspects are still at large. The man who wanted to be kept anonymous says Camellia Acres is a quiet neighborhood off of little... Quiet neighborhood. What does that mean? Clean, too. It's, um, it's wild. Glider. When I this say is all retired quiet, Navy and active duty Navy right here because it's right off of Little Creek. You know, the, the biggest tragedy of that, the bullet didn't hit the Prius and, and, and take out the battery and burn it to the ground. <laughs> I think dude probably cussed them out, though. I don't think he went out there to no, investigate. No, 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 he probably went out there to say, hey, man, can you pick up this trash? Can you not throw trash in my yard? Who do you think was the smart ass first, him or them? It's hard and, 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 and in what in what world is cussing at somebody a reason to shoot them? Because you actually just gave an excuse. You just gave an excuse to shoot at the guy. I just don't think I I don't I'm think can't even like it is. You go out there and you tell a bunch of some people, hey man, y'all put trash out of my yard, you might get shot at. Okay, mammy. Don't call me no fucking mammy, mayo. That's a mammy that's, shit right no, there, man. That's, that's, that's making, ex that's making excuses for them. That's making excuses. Hey, mayo, mayo, she didn't make an excuse for them. I'm just saying she didn't make an excuse. She, she, no. gave a, she, gave a reason behind, she gave a reason for why it happened. Is that, that, no, that's not a reason. It's an excuse. Because she said, well, he probably did this. That's a fucking excuse. That's not a reason. <laughs> Go ahead, Brown. What do, you, what, do you, what do you think? Do you think that? Do you think that a, a, a guy who lives in this neighborhood would see a group of Sun teens parked out front of his lot, probably playing loud, you know, music, and and throwing trash out the window? You think he just comes out there and cusses at them? I say he probably could have. He could have been kind of rude. Or he could have just said something to them. And you got to understand, some teens, or they don't want to be told anything. They, don't want, they, they might be in their element. They don't want to be told so anything. So, so would, would you classifying him coming out there, confronting them about them throwing trash in his yard as being rude? To, yeah, in the mind of a son man, yes. That's oh, what I'm so trying to speaking from the mind of a son man. Yeah, that's what I'm trying okay. to tell Mayo okay. that in the mind of a son man, him coming out confronted them for being trifling. In their head, they felt like he should have shut his mouth and left them alone about it. Yeah. And so they felt like shooting at him because I'm pretty sure it may have been an argument, could have been an argument. You know, the news do leave things out, you know. 
But don't call me no mammy no more. Five my play Excuses, excuses, excuses. Oh, you want to survive a day. You want to survive one, you just you gave want excuses. one day where I'm from. So it don't even matter. You, you gave excuses based off assumption. All right, let me move along. On Deerfield Please. Road, the homeowner running as the suspects drive away. Luckily, he wasn't hit, but says a stray bullet went through the windshield of his neighbor's Toyota Prius. We spoke with those neighbors who also didn't want to speak on camera as the suspects are still at large. The man who wanted to be kept anonymous says Camellia Acres is a quiet neighborhood off of Little Creek and incidents like this have never happened here. That is so just Incidents like this have never happened here. Don't look at the chat, bro. <laughs> what you I doing? ain't worried about chat. I'm just trying to see what you supposed to call me a man before because I gave my opinion. <laughs> How you feel I call you a cracker? You want to like that? I can. You would. That would have to matter to me <laughs> for it to offend me. So it don't like, matter because y'all. You, I mean, you know what? That's all like coming out here with your ass on here because you get on my damn nerves. Let me move along. <laughs> let me let me move along. Let me move along. Camera as the suspects are still at large. The man who wanted to be kept anonymous says Camellia Acres is a quiet neighborhood off of Little Creek, and incidents like this have never happened here. That is so disturbing to think that that's happening right here. Lisa Steigerwald and her husband live a few houses down and serve on the neighborhood Civic League. We've just been trying to piece together video from all the different ring cameras. Steigerwald was at a friend's house when shots rang out and immediately started getting messages from folks in the neighborhood. It was a little scary. I mean, because I think about it and not only do I walk around um, by myself or with my dogs, but one of the ladies in the neighborhood has a little girl that she normally would have been walking on that street last night at that time had she not had a late start in making her dinner. Steigerwald told 10 on your side, the community doesn't have a neighborhood watch, but this past weekend's events may be enough to encourage the neighborhood to start one. They don't have a neighborhood watch. They're about to start a neighborhood watch because one carload of sediment parked in front of somebody's house. That's all it took was for one carload of sediment to park in front of somebody's house. They're throwing trash out the window and the events of that situation led down this community is about to have to get a neighborhood watch. And it doesn't sound like they were from the community at all. Like they're just hanging out there. Some men can do anything like, like for instance, like some men, like, let's just put like this. They could have been somebody around there could have been like selling something online or Somebody around there could have had a daughter or somebody around there or they could have fucking um, been coming around there. Their friend does Uber, but they all in the car while he's doing Uber. So just it could have been any random thing that brought them to that neighborhood. And just and they could have been in that neighborhood for maybe a minute or two, maybe under five minutes. And throwing trash out the window and weren't expecting for somebody to say something to them. And then they shoot at them. And now these gliders have gone into fucking self-preservation mode. And they're like, yo, we got to fucking do something about this one incident. Sun community, 50, 60 people get murdered in a year. And that's not an exaggeration. There's a lot of sun community neighborhoods in this country where 50, 60 people are murdered in a year. Nothing's done about it to start one maybe you know that's something that could be revisited again now police are looking for a newer silver hyundai santa fe with virginia tags if you have information you can call the crime line or submit an anonymous